Hello everyone, my name is Mike Turner. I'm the Senior Product Advisor at ProSound and Stage Lighting. Today we're going to be talking about wireless DMX solutions and some battery powered solutions. But again, this is a video about wireless DMX, so we'll please refer back to my DMX 101 video if you have questions regarding uh, DMX capabilities and whatnot. So, let's settle some things right here. Wireless DMX is very different than infrared control, sometimes called IRC. Now, both of them share uh, the ability of transmitting control wirelessly, except they are very, very different. This type of control will allow you to walk over to the light or be within 10 feet of it and control the various features that are proprietary to that light. Definitely offers some wireless control, but not wireless DMX. Now let's talk about wireless DMX. Now again, with a statement earlier about what DMX is, wireless DMX is simply removing the cable from the control source and your lights. Let's first talk about some of the applications for wireless DMX. For instance, you're doing a large ballroom. You might have 100 foot plus cable runs that you have to do. And if you're a professional, you're probably hiding those cables with gaffer's tape, which means you're gonna spend a lot of time on your hands and knees prepping for the show. Let's be honest, we don't want that far back later on at the end of the gig when we've been standing all night DJing or running light shows. So with wireless solutions, I could simply have one transmitter at my control source, and then I could have wireless receivers on all my lights. So what that means is I'm eliminating the need of cable. And in some cases, I can actually have my wireless reception being received in another room. So now I'm going to talk about the basic setups of a wireless DMX system. Now, in a general wireless system, you're going to have a transmitter, which is usually connected to your control source. And then you're going to have a receiver, which is either plugged into your first light or from one light to another, that's going to receive the signal from the DMX transmitter. Now, there's also something that you guys will probably see on the market called a transceiver. What that is, is a single unit that has the ability to either send or receive wireless DMX signal. Uh, these are generally preferred and that it just, you know, you might have situations where you might need more than one transmitter or more than one receiver as opposed to the opposite. So uh, that's one thing that you can do. Now some of you might be asking, well, how dependable is wireless DMX? And just like with wireless microphones, the amount of investment that you make in your wireless system is generally going to yield more features. And when it comes to wireless DMX, uh, many options that are pretty affordable are going to have a fixed frequency, which means both the transmitter and receiving unit will have a fixed frequency that they're already set on. Generally the way this works, you would have to press one button on the transmitter and another button on the receiver to pair them. Once you've done this, generally they re remember it and you don't have to set it up again. Then there are some that actually allow you to dial in the frequency. I typically prefer that just so that I know that both the transmitter and the receiver are already on the same frequency. I don't have to spend any lengthy times trying to pair them up. So that's one way, way you could do it. Another thing that uh, is actually a little bit better is you could actually use something called a frequency agile or a frequency hopping system. So what this means to you is that the wireless DMX system actually can hop from more than one frequency automatically, thus eliminating the chance of interference. This is definitely the preferred method. Just like anything else, you want the interference to be stopped before you even notice it. Another section that I want to kind of talk to you about, oftentimes you might hear the term wireless uh, with respect to a light that has a battery built in. Now again, that is technically wireless, but it is not wireless DMX. So what this means to you is that some of these lights actually have a built-in rechargeable battery that eliminates the need to plug the light into the wall at your event. This is very helpful. So a lot of people who are not changing the color of their lights, it's kind of the set and forget customer, uh, where they just set it down on a static color, this saves you a lot of time. I can tell you from personal experience how annoying it is when you show up to a venue and you find that there are literally two power outlets for the entire ballroom. It happens, and then you're running hundreds of feet of cable trying to uh, daisy chain the power. So when you have battery powered lights, you don't have to worry about that. But again, that is not wireless DMX, it is simply wireless with respect to power. Now re in relation to that, there's a lot of companies that have made fixtures that have both wireless DMX built in and the battery power. And I'm going to show you a few of those offerings right now. This particular, particular fixture is from Chave. 
It's called the Freedom Par QA5. This particular fixture does have a rechargeable wireless battery. It also has wireless DMX built in. This features RGBA 5 watt clusters. It also had this really, really neat feature where I can lower this right here so I can aim it on the wall. Another offering from Chave is the Freedom Par RGBA. This is red, green, blue, amber as well, except they're using the 10 millimeter diodes. You'll see, obviously, that both of these have the antennas sticking out. This also has a rechargeable battery built in. Continuing with the Chave line, this is a uh, linear wash fixture, and this is the Freedom Strip Mini Quad 5. Again, rechargeable battery. You have five 5 watt RGBA options. Very nice. And again, from Chave, very similar. This is the Freedom Strip Mini RGBA. But again, now we're having a little bit more affordable, affordable option with the 10 millimeter LEDs. Again, this is wireless DMX and has a rechargeable battery. And here's a great offering for a linear wash from American DJ. This is the Wi-Fi Bar RGBA. These are the 10 millimeter LEDs. This will do red, green, blue, and amber. As you can tell, this is wireless. And this also has a built-in battery. Again, a great addition to anyone who's wanting to wash a wide section with a single bar without any wires. American DJ also has their offering of five 5 watt RGBA clusters. You'll see that uh, this is wireless DMX. It also has a rechargeable battery. One feature that I would like to point out about this particular fixture is that a lot of concerns people have with the wireless battery or the rechargeable battery, if you will, is that, you know, just like with our cell phones, eventually they're going to die out. This American DJ product actually has the ability of removing the battery and replacing it over time. American DJ is also following suit with a wash as well. This is the Wi-Fi Bar QA5. You'll see that it's wireless DMX, has a rechargeable battery that you can replace, and again, this is a linear wash. Now, this fixture here is quite unique in my opinion. This is something that American DJ is offering also in their wireless uh, series as well. This is the Wi-Fi Wash Bar. Now, it does look very compact, but don't let that fool you. This was designed specifically because it has a 120 degree beam angle. So what that means, this works excellent for putting underneath your DJ table or behind your DJ facade and washing the whole facade or table without having any hot spots. For those of you that need to accent something like a cake, a gift table, a particular plant at the venue, this is absolutely perfect. Again, this is wireless DMX and battery powered. I want to say this weighs <laughs> about three or four pounds. So that's a few of the lights that you have available that have the wireless DMX receivers and some of them the transmitters already built in. Now, for those of you who have lights that already that don't have this feature built in, don't worry, you can still use wireless DMX. For instance, Chave has their DeFi Duo RX and TX system here where it comes complete with a transmitter and receiver. Now in this particular unit, each of them do require their own power. This is a fixed frequency. You will have to sync them together. Uh, this is a very affordable and dependable option. Earlier I had mentioned a transceiver. This is an excellent transceiver option from Chave. This is actually the DeFi 2.4 gigahertz. Now, what this does, if you'll notice here, something different than the last unit, I actually have a display here and some buttons. I can auto-sync, but I can also dial in the direct frequency to pair this up with another unit. Again, this is my preference just because I don't have to take time trying to auto-sync. This is a transceiver. This will send and receive wireless DMX. This is an extremely unique offering from American DJ called the Wi-Fi D6 Branch. Now, this is something that offers a really, really wonderful solution. So for you DJs or production specialists that aren't just doing up lights, maybe you've got a truss rig or something along those lines where you have multiple lights built into the truss section. Well, those lights themselves don't necessarily need their own uh, receiver. Uh, what you can do 
This here is from American DJ. It's a Wi-Fi receiver, but it's also a splitter built in one. So what this means, you would simply plug this into your truss rig, and then you would send your DMX chains out from here. Now, as you can tell, this is a six-way splitter that will receive wireless DMX from a Wi-Fi transmitter. So again, a very unique solution here, very light and compact, a must-have for anyone who's got a truss rig. Now, this next part here, I got to hand it to the manufacturers. They've really done an excellent job of following suit with the wireless DMX line here, of really simplifying it by actually adding the transmitter for wireless DMX into their controllers. So here's an example here. This is the Wi-Fi RGB W8C. So what this is, this is a very user-friendly control that has the transmitter built in. So what this means, guys, is you can actually have this sitting at your desk or your DJ booth or the lighting booth, wherever it is that you're at, transmitting to any one of your Wi-Fi enabled fixtures. So this eliminates the cable altogether. Uh, you'll see here that this has eight channels because I can hit a bank up and down. I've got built-in color features already here and a few presets already built in. Definitely a great option. Now Chave has also jumped into the game with their version of a wireless controller. This is the Obey 4 DeFi 2.4. What this is, again, this is Chave's uh, proprietary 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmitter built inside of an Obey 4 controller, essentially. So again, this eliminates you having to have a transmitter as well. It's already built into the controller. Some features that I really appreciate about this, uh, I typically like to use the sound active features. I have a knob that I can adjust the sensitivity right here on the front, very easy to use. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have done a little bit of research on your own about DMX, and you've probably come across the term WDMX. Now, WDMX is a proprietary protocol that's actually been developed by a company called Wireless Solutions in Sweden. I believe this was developed back in 2003. Now, what has happened, this has become the professional standard for wireless DMX for large concerts and large productions. So literally, uh, when you see a huge concert at the Staples Center or anything along those lines, oftentimes you're going to see that they're using WDMX. Well, you probably won't see it, but that's oftentimes what they're using. One thing to keep in mind when purchasing WDMX products is that they are not proprietary to the manufacturer that actually uses them. I'll give you an example. This is a Chave offering. It's the Chave WDMX TX. Now, it is a Chave product. It's manufactured by Chave, but it employs the WDMX wireless system. Over here, you will see the Elation EWDMX. This as well is using the WDMX protocol. As you will see on the antenna, it still has uh, the Wireless Solutions logo. So again, this is an Elation offering that is employing another wireless solution. They take it one step further when Elation offers the Elation Platinum Spot 5R Pro. I think this is a fantastic idea because it's eliminating the cable needs for large, large production. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but there's an antenna sticking out. This uses WDMX. So this here will receive signal from any WDMX transmitter. So what that means to you in terms of production, imagine having a large stage. When I say large stage, we're talking 80 plus lights, all using wireless DMX via WDMX. Extremely helpful. So today we've gone over a lot of wireless solutions, some that have batteries, some that don't have batteries, some that are WDMX, some that are Wi-Fi, some of them that are DeFi. Now, it's a lot of information to soak up, so feel free to watch this video a few times to make sure that you get it all in. But the best part, here at Pro Sound and Stage Lighting, all of our sales advisors have been educated on the different types of wireless systems out there. We're not gonna let you make the mistake of buying a proprietary uh, wireless signal that may not work with another. So be sure to check our website, www.pssl.com for more wireless solutions that are available to you and feel free to chat, email, or call with any questions you may have. Hope you have a great day.